Well, new leads in the search for suspects in the deadly Mother's Day weekend violence. Police need the public's help when it comes to tracking down these four men. Alicia Reed is in Spring Garden with an update on how city leaders are fighting violence. Alicia, good evening. Good evening, Yuki. As the city looks forward to the progress made in the coronavirus pandemic, local officials say the fight against crime is less promising. New images released this afternoon. Police believe these four men are responsible for the murder of 20 year old Sebastian Brown on the 1700 block of West Ruscombe Street Saturday evening. Law enforcement officials say the group hopped out of a silver Outlander just before 8 p.m. and went after both the driver and Brown, who was in the front passenger seat. Homicides are now up 34 percent, and so are domestic violence related killings. On this date last year, we had eight homicides. Eight compared to our 18 this year. That's a 138 percent increase over last year. Homicide detectives say the active search for 23 year old Justin Smith continues. He's accused of killing his girlfriend, Deanna Bryce, who was pregnant with his baby boy. He should be considered armed and dangerous. There's a $20,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. While these suspects are at large, police say they have made some progress, taking more than 2,200 illegal guns off the street. Those barrels hold 50 rounds of ammunition, plus whatever the magazine held. So a couple of these guns were able to fire up to 80 rounds. I, I have no idea what anyone, anywhere, would need 80 rounds of ammunition to fire for, especially on the streets of our cities. So. While department leaders plead for tips from the public, Commissioner Daniel Outlaw was before city council today in support of funding for department operations. Now, the department is asking for $727 million for fiscal year 2022 operations. That's the same budget as this year. Now, the council is expected to pass the final budget in June. Reporting live from Spring Garden, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you for that.